Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And your boy, Staten Lab. All right, if you all are a family member, y'all know what that is. Y'all subscribed, yeah. all that. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's only free, you know? E. Just till midnight. After midnight, it goes up. Uh-huh. Till like free, not and not. But, um... Go ahead and hit us up with the like, dislike. Either way, it's rating us on YouTube, and it is what it is. But let me go ahead before we get into this. Um, we've been on the go since Thursday. Yup. I am T I red. <laughs> Tad is on the what I thought about doing this review recap. What up? It's a discussion. This is not even a recap. Yeah, I just we just we just talking. Yeah. I was going to do it tomorrow, so let's just go ahead and knock it out because yeah. it's going to be short, sweet, and to the point. Yeah. But. I was sitting here while I was watching this show, T um, Tiana and Amon. I was trying to figure out what does it remind me of because it's not like regular, you know, reality TV. Mm -hmm. It's not scripted. And nah. I said, you know what it is? It's like looking at vlogs on YouTube. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. I said, okay. Now I, can, now I know with how to formulate vlogs this. Vlogs on YouTube with professional editing. Way professional editing. Yeah. But if they I don't can do, edit like that on our vlogs, man. Man. But they don't go overboard. But the nah. episode was um all about Junie. Yep. I told well, y'all last It's always week, about Junie. I can say, dude, we need to even know that. Yeah. But what you happened see was... <laughs> see, this is what the joy of motherhood would do to you and for you and all that good stuff. Because kids will push you out of your comfort zone. Yeah, they will. To a place where you trying to reevaluate is it even freaking worth it. <laughs> See, what had happened was Miss Junie realizes, hey, we got this pool in our mm -hmm. backyard, but we never seem to go up out there. And she kept telling her mama, look, won't we'll swim. Poo. Poo. Won't we'll swim. I, I need Poo. to get my feet wet. Tiana was like, you know what? Yeah, I ain't about that life. Mm -mm. I'm from Harlem. Yeah. We had um, fire hydrants. We did not do anything like that. And if there was a public pool where all of us got together and went to the public pool, yep. we don't know how to act. That's true. Yeah. That's Throwing true. Each other in the water. That's, that's kind of how I learned how to swim when I talk about it later, I guess. My daddy threw me off the back of a paddle boat. Oh, yeah? Right into the ocean? I could have died that day. Well, you know what uncle threw me in the water. <laughs> Uncle Kenny. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me. Yeah. I know he did. And you out there. You got a half a gallon of seawater and you got thrown through. You coughing and, and boogers flying out your nose. See, and, see rabbit holes all got yeah. thrown ready. And you say so, you think you dying. He said they get laughing. You think yeah, you dying. Funny. But the whole time you think you think you're gone and he got you. <laughs> and you like this. No, I was gone. <laughs> I was gone. <laughs> but I went to swimming classes at the um, at the pool. I didn't learn how to swim there. I learned when my dad freaking tried to kill me. Yeah, I I took some swimming lessons. They were they was like unofficial. The place oh, we used to go. <laughs> See, with the place that we went to, the guy that owned the pool, he would get in the pool sometime and teach people how to swim. Yeah. Sounds a little perved to me. But anyway, um I just think about it. I don't know. He, his, he used to put his hand on the five. Don't even worry about it. Hold, don't even worry. I don't want to water like this one with, with his hand like that. It's not so bad, but the, the way my mind thinks I don't trust nobody. Say? Yeah. Yeah. He won't try nothing to do nothing to us. Yeah. He was a friend of family, man. <laughs> Them the ones. But anyway, <laughs> so um Imam was like, listen. I know how to swim. I'm from Chicago. You know, having yeah, a that's pool what we do. was like having a night stand. You know, you gotta have at least one. So he was like, I know how to do it. And if anything was to happen and you're here with Junior by you herself, she gets in that pool, what you gonna do? So that boosted Tiana to want to learn how to swim. So they got this instructor to come mm -hmm. on up and do that to teach baby Junior how to swim. Now, this is my take on the whole situation right here. Baby Junior was cool in the water. She was had her, you know, her daddy had her. She was doing her little flipping and the duck and um paddling mm -hmm. and all that. She was doing all that. But as soon as Tiana started freaking out, that's when she started crying. Yep. That's when Baby Junior was like, you know what? It was cute. I got a cute little out um um bathing suit out of the deal. But I'm not about this life right now. I wanted to talk about that. <laughs> I might end up getting myself in trouble for it, but but yeah, right. I, I know it's true. But. I'm pretty sure that Tiana probably got but a thousand baby suits around there at the house. Oh, yeah. But for every event, y'all find an excuse to get a new outfit to go to that event. Even to the dead gone poo at your own goddamn house. I'm not going to disagree with that. Yeah, one. I'm right. I'm right about it. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yep. Going to get some new toenails tomorrow. <laughs> got to make sure I got the right outfit to go with it. Yep. Yep. Not even gonna argue about that one. Yeah, they do anything different at work. Gotta I gotta have an outfit for that too. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm not doing I'm not yeah. doing this with you today. Yeah, I'm right. Now the fellas will be like, I'm gonna look in the closet. I got something up there I can put in. No, we I'm not going to that rabbit hole because we went through that this weekend. Um, but anywho. Oh, I, I, with you. I, I didn't go get nothing new. You was thinking about it. I was thinking about it, but did I make it happen? No, you didn't make it happen. That's right. Whatever. What is that outside your face? I went in the closet and pulled out what I already had. And I'm glad you did. It's called recycling, man. It is what it is. It's recycling, man. But anyway, back to the freaking show, right? Yeah. So, baby Junie, she really didn't get too much out of um the swimming class and whatnot. The instructor actually turned her sights on the Tiana. And she got her a little bit more, you know, a little bit more acclimated with the water and familiar with the water. Because Tiana was like, if it's freaking right here in my neighborhood, I ain't about this life. Yeah. And I'm with her. I can swim my tail off. But you ain't get going right here. You ain't going to the water. Mm -mm. I, think, I think since we done been together, I think I may have seen you go in the water maybe two times. First of all, I wear too much of somebody else's hair. For me to be going through um, blow drying my own and nails too, uh -huh. I ain't got time for it. I ain't, I ain't gonna argue with you, back. But anyway, but if yeah. life and death, I'm coming to the top. Yeah, you gonna swim now? I'm go swim. So yeah, didn't didn't too much happen with the um, swimming lessons. Other than like he said, cute outfits, bathing suits, and then they made um they made it a point to have everybody come together at the pool a little later on mm -hmm. to celebrate what? Yeah. Like he said, we're gonna make up an excuse to celebrate. Let's celebrate something. Yeah. All right, so we go flip on over where Iman, his daddy, don't told him, Look, you know, have fun all summer. Y'all know yep. how we do. When we don't have time, nothing going on, we don't have to get dressed eating, up for nothing. Clean again. We ain't got to go to an event where we got to look extra snatch. We don't give a rat say, You know, we eat, we eat, we eat, but them like two, three weeks before that event, mm -hmm. we start crunching now. It's crunch time because now it's time for him to go back into training for real, for real. His daddy was like, look, no more mm -hmm. pizza. No more french fries. Hot dogs. Hamburgers. Burgers, all of that. It's like, no more macaroni and cheese. I was like, what? And mom was like, I ain't feeling it, but my daddy ain't never steered me wrong, so I just gonna have to buy So I at least need a cheat day. I, and this the part that's it's funny, but not funny because that's what happens in relationships. Yep. Just because you need to make a life change. Don't mean that everybody in the household nope. gonna make a goddamn life change. And just because mom got to eat a certain way, Tiana was like, uh, huh. Domino's who? Huh. When macaroni and cheese. I don't know what, what was, was going happening on? with that macaroni and cheese. Yeah, she had like a block of mozzarella cheese right here, a little block. It was little, a whole lot like, of. Like, like, what? I said, hold on now, hold but on. But you know they didn't, show, they, they, they didn't show the finished product either. Because that's probably what it still looked like. Yeah. Talk, yeah. Tiana, I'm sorry, but that's a no no go. Yeah, you no yeah. go. Come to Virginia, child. We go. We gonna hook you up. Yeah. I'll post some pictures of the final, then maybe we can talk about it then. I can tell how I don't think it's gonna be. I don't think it's yeah. So um, we ha we've come to the point where Tiana's realizing that Baby Junior is some spoiled and spoiled friggin' rotten. And I said, huh? Y'all y'all didn't know that. So her mama was basically telling her, listen. When you become a parent, there isn't a blue, um, book, a blueprint, yeah, yeah, a blueprint to being a parent. You basically learn as you go, and if you see a trait in your child man. that you don't like, you try to correct it before it's too late. And that's the mm -hmm. best you can do. Yeah, I had you young, you know, I made mistakes. You yeah. had Junie, and you're gonna make mistakes. Is she spoiled? Yeah, probably, cause she's a little bit more fortunate than most kids. But it is what it freaking is. Yeah. Um, just don't. Let her become spoiled rotten where she is not appreciative of the things that she has. And she, you know, even referenced, she was like, Junie has all of these freaking Instagram followers on her freaking account. And she doesn't even know what this life is about yet. Nope. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be up to you to teach her that at the end of the day, those right there, they ain't nothing but numbers. Yeah. And then they don't do nothing. I get ready to say you can't cash them in because you can cash them in. But at the end of the day, you do something wrong one time, and all of those numbers that was in your amen corner will be those same Whoa. numbers yep. that will be roasting the dog mess yep. out of you this same friggin' day. That is so true. Yeah. That's like when people get caught <clears throat> up in the whole um, YouTube hype and YouTube personalities. And somebody had told, said, um, wrote a comment the other day, or yesterday, one of them. And it was like, you made my day because you commented back to me. And the first thing that came to my mind was, I ain't nobody. 
Yeah. I sit behind my freaking camera. Yeah, I'm just an everyday person. Just like, upload, and I go to yeah. work like uh -huh. everybody. I ain't nobody. That's right. You know, so sometimes you got to just, you know, take a step back and be like, don't don't let this stuff get your head all swole up. Yeah. Make you think you better than anybody or your number's better than this person. Because yeah, YouTube you is do. a whole nother world of competition mm -hmm. that sometimes you just have to make up in your mind that I'm not going to play. Yeah. I'm not going to play the game. I'm just going to do me. I'm going to do me every single day. Yep, I ain't going to try to do nobody else and I'm not going to try to to bring somebody else down to rise to the top. Ain't, yeah, because it's not going to work. Yeah, it ain't work because somebody will come along and do the same thing to us. Yeah. Try to bring us down to rise to the top. It's what it is. Yep. So, um, we took a trip over to Harlem because I told y'all last mm. week that I had found out that she actually had a nail salon in Harlem and I heard it was really nice oh yeah i mean they said the atmosphere is real her real okay. her um bougie but yet tomboyish at the same time and i heard it was really successful i heard that you had to wait oh, in wow. order to get in there Dumb. to get your services done so that's a good look and i hope it's not one of those things that is hype because her name is behind it right now oh. that three months from now you look and they have a for sale sign in the goddamn window because we stopped supporting. You know what I mean? Because yeah. that happens. But you know the hype is because of the name. Yeah. Yeah. But what had happened was she gave her contractor a seventy thousand dollar budget, and this dude come back with a uh, double. One hundred and forty. All right, what? A double invoice talking about some. This was gonna take her. She was like, listen. When you become someone like us, you have to basically know that people are gonna try to take advantage of you because mm -hmm. they're gonna be like, well, huh, I. You they got, got, you got the, the money. money. You got you the know, money. So I can shake them down for, you know, 50000 more than what they should be paying because. Yeah. And then sometimes they'll play with your ego on there too because they'll be like, well, they ain't going to talk too much smack to me. You know, they're not going to try to drive the price too far down because that's going to make them feel like they can't afford it. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, because, you know, a whole bunch of rich people, they just like to pay. Whatever you give them, that's what they yeah, pay. They don't like to good. negotiate because negotiating makes them feel like, okay, I, I, I can't afford it. You know what I mean? Like, I got to make a deal with you in order to have this. So, um, it really was like old boy was trying to just play a little game with her and, her, and her coins. And he was making me mad days. because why we why we keep doing that to each other yeah he said man he thought it was funny he thought it was funny yeah she didn't think it was funny she was like seventy thousand. that's what we talked about yeah and one I, thing that oh she got a contract yeah and then one thing iman said too that really hit home was he was like you know at the end of the day i can go up there and talk some smack to the dudes but this is not a business that i know so when he started coming back it was like this is for this this is for that I have no idea have what no I'm clue. talking about because yeah. I'm not in that business. So it's always good to have somebody on your team when you're dealing with stuff like this mm -hmm. that knows the business that you're going in. You That's may right. know that you have like a passion for nails or hair mm -hmm. or something like that, but you don't know the everyday, the, you know, the nuts and the bolts of it. Mm -hmm. You better get you somebody on your team that does know that because you'll have people like that trying to get Take over on you at yep. the end. And because you don't know, You'll fall for the okie doke every time. Yep. So, last um, thing that I want to talk about was, you know, everything ends back up at them not finding time, time to, to have sex. sex. Yep. So, Junie blocks. Junie was block, cop blocking like a mug. They was out they there. They thought she was sleep. Out there at the pool. Everybody had went home. And baby Junie had wore herself out, so she's laying down. You know, taking a little cat nap, and they look at each other. Was like, she sleep? Mm -hmm. Hot tub right there. We can keep our eye on. Cause I was like, hold on, y'all gonna leave the baby by the pool? Yeah. But they was going over there to the hot tub. I said, Phew. cause we don't need, we don't need nobody out there blasting that on Instagram. Yeah. So you got a piece of pizza right there, in your teeth. Oh, no, it's in your teeth. Anyway, if y'all see it, don't worry about it. But um, as soon as they went to go and get a little nooky nooky on, baby Judy was like, mm mm, not uh -oh. today. Uh, what y'all doing? And she, they was like, okay, I guess next time we have to find another way to get it in because Junie ain't letting it happen today. Yeah, I, I, want, I wanted to say this. I don't know if I said it last week. I appreciate them showing the, the real side because just because you have money don't mean that everyday life responsibility goes away. It's like they still, even with all that money, have a regular lifestyle just like us. Mm -hmm. Just their bank account is just bigger. Hello. So a bank account don't change anything. You might be able to buy more stuff, go more places, do a whole lot of crazy stuff. But responsibility is still the same. They still got to get up and go to work. Or greater. 
They still got a child to take care of. They still got houses to take care of. Businesses to run. And so, families. And to families. Take care of. Yep. So it all still. Matter of fact, I think it's, it's even worse. greater because too much is given, much is required. That is so true. It is. Yeah, so true. So, y'all, I'm ready to go to bed. Yeah. I ain't. Look, I've been off since Thursday, but I feel like I need more time off because we yeah. did so much this weekend. But anyway, um, I'm going to bed straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla. Holla.